So I'm having a chat with Tony Hadley. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Yeah, very well. Not bad good. at all. Good. Looking forward to the tour and um, yeah, looking forward to the year, actually. Yeah, it's always quiet at the beginning of the year. And then all of a sudden you think not much is happening. And then bang, you're you're back out there again, festivals and touring and and um, so and then trying to squeeze a holiday in, in between. <laughs> Holidays are always nice. <laughs> oh, tell me about it. <laughs> well, you mentioned the tour, so let's kick off with that. From uh, from this Sunday, you are heading out across the UK. Bet you can't wait to be on the road again. Yeah, I mean it's it's always good. I mean th- this is a different tour because it's a swing tour. I've not done a swing tour in long, long, long time, and um, and it really the, the, what was the, the sort of precursor to it was being invited by the Ronnie Scott's Orchestra to do the Cheltenham Jazz Festival in the summer. And I hadn't sung a swing set for uh, many, many years and uh, pretty nervous before we did it. But it went down really, really well. Uh, crowd went crazy. And so it was suggested that, hey, why don't you do a tour and, and make an album? So in between trying to finish my contemporary album, which is now going to be released in 2025, <laughs> I went in and uh, and then got these these tracks together for, for the vinyl album, Mood at the Mood I'm In. Nice. And that album is out this week, 1st of March. It is a swing album. What was the reason behind doing swing, considering it's it's contemporary that you've done recently as well? Um, it was really de- it was really down to the Cheltenham Jazz Festival. I mean, it, I had such a great time and we had a sort of an opportunity in March to, to do a tour. Um, so took some of uh, some recordings, remastered them and recorded some new stuff as well. So it's out on a proper album with and, and CD as well, and I think you can I think you can stream it. Yeah, I'm sure you can, and um, and coloured vinyl as well. So I haven't even got a copy yet. No one's given me a copy of my own <laughs> album. <laughs> you have to go buy but one. There's some great, great, great songs on there, but because because it's, it's the vinyl, you can only get so many songs on vinyl. So um, so and it's been it's been mastered beautifully. Nice. Yeah, I've just taken a listen to a, a fair few of the tracks before chatting to you and uh, there's a there's a few covers on there that we we all kind of know and love what's it like putting your take onto some of the the big classics that you've done well i mean that's life is a song that we've sung so many times even in the contemporary set when we're doing festivals and we do it sort of when we've done it live with the band it's more of a kind of um, slightly sort of r&b rockier version so it's it's slightly higher key than Sinatra's, and um, and it's a song that just, I, I, as I always say, sung, sums up my life and probably most of yours in the audience too. Because life is, you never know what's going to happen, and and sometimes you just have to say, well, that's the way it goes. And mm-hmm. we've all been up there, we've all been down there. So so it's a song that that means a lot actually uh, to me. And then also one for my baby is a song we've done many times at the end of a show. And it's that barroom song, you're sitting there, your girlfriend's left you, your wife's left you, whatever, and you're just chatting to this barman with a glass of Jack and a cigarette in your hand and, and just you just want someone to talk to. And that, that literally, and you know, I put myself in that scenario when I recorded it and just really close mic, almost spoke into the mic and we did two takes and, and, and that was it. So, yeah, I love that song, beautiful song. Yeah, nice. How easy was it for you to find the right tracks for you to do your versions of on this swing record? <laughs> to, to be honest, it's there's so many lovely versions and so many lovely songs out there, swing songs. It's pretty difficult to, because as I said, on vinyl, you, you can't get more than about 10 tracks on vinyl anyway, because otherwise it sounds terrible. So that was a bit of a problem. The CD, uh, there, there'll be, I think the CD will have more songs on it. Uh, but certainly when we play live, We'll be doing oh Bennett, Sinatra, Jack Jones, Ella Fitz. Uh, we're covering the whole spectrum uh, and a couple of spandau tunes as well. So um, it'll be it'll be it'll be exciting and different. Uh, hopefully, there'll be something for everybody. Are, are you doing your, the classic sounding to the spandau tunes, or are you putting a swing version to them? Well, Paul Anker, who was <laughs> the co-writer of My Way. He did an album called Rock Swings and he, he covered like Nirvana and all sorts of stuff on Teen Spirit. And he did a version of True. And um, it's very different. It's a kind of, it, it's a slow swing. 
Uh, so we're going to do that version with with gold. And only when you leave, we're going to do a, a kind of brassy Las Vegas type approach to it. And then through the barricades, which is always my favourite song, uh, will just be very subtle on piano and, and just uh, just a uh, just a lovely performance. Nice, nice. Now, once this tour is over and done with, what what's your plan for for after that and into the summer? Have you got some festivals lined up? Yeah, we're off to uh, we're off to Italy straight after this tour. I'm going to also going to Bratislava. Uh, it's the Steve, Stephen Hawking's. Um, uh, sort of festival it's it's all to do with physics and space and everything else brian may is going to be there so mm -hmm. i'm performing there uh again uh april april may uh, back in italy again and spain hungary uk festivals and there's a u.s tour in the offing so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna, and i'm trying to get a holiday in desperately <laughs> so my wife's saying please you've got to get you know i will i mean i, I think already um I've got to come home in the middle of the holiday because uh, I've got a festival. But um, but I love I love what I do. I'm yeah. very lucky. Yeah, absolutely. And with all all the places that you've toured over the many years, there must be places that you've not done yet. Are you hoping to be crossing some more off the bucket list? Yeah. Well, I've never played. I've never played China. Um, I'd love to go to China. Um, uh, India is is a country I've never. I'd love. My daughter's been to India. My oldest daughter Tony. And she said it was absolutely amazing. And so I'd love to go and play in India, you know, that, that's sort of more Southeast Asia, that kind of world. Uh, a lot of South America I've played in, but uh, always, always good to go again. Always good to go again. Yeah, most definitely. And you, you mentioned a new contemporary album on the way. How is that sounding at the moment? Yeah, that's, I mean, to be honest, that's pretty much finished. There's a cup. The trouble is what happens is, the longer I take, the then I start writing again. And then so we've just started on this this new song, which is almost like a country song. And I love country. I really love country. So there's a there's a kind of sort of almost a couple of country songs on this album. And then I've got a couple of new tracks that we've written with the band as well, my band, the Fat TH band. So we're nearly there. I think about we've we've recorded about 10 tracks already, probably another four to finish. Nice. That, so this will be released. In 25 sometime. Yeah, yeah cool. And, and with the writing side of things, for you, how do tracks normally start off? Um, just I just start mucking about on the piano or the guitar. Just I'm, I'm not a brilliant player. I mean, I certainly wouldn't play guitar or piano on my own album. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be disastrous. <laughs> but it's enough to write songs. And, you know, I come up with ideas. Sometimes they're... they're, they're, they're kind of wacky and and i might go to either mick lister or gary stevenson the producers and we write together and, and and they'll say yeah this is this is cool yeah okay and and then the process starts i i kind of like collaborating but um there are songs that i've written that i write on my own as well it just depends how much time you've got in between school runs and um and unloading the dishwasher <laughs> 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 Yeah, most definitely, and and we need to touch on uh, on Spandau. Did you realise at the time when you were just starting out that it was going to be as as big as it it became? Well, you always <laughs> hope. I mean, you know, there you are as a young kid watching Top of the Pops, and you're watching I don't know Queen, Roxy, Bowie, Elton, mm. uh, Rod, and you're thinking, wow, that's that's what I want to do. That's that's my dream. And then you sign your record deal. Uh, we had a top five with To Cut Long Story Short. Uh, first single and then you worry all you think is don't let it end tomorrow please don't let it end tomorrow and then you, then all of a sudden you find yourself 10 years down the road 20 years down the road and here we are 43 years down the road since it's cut long story short and i'm still doing it and still loving it yeah good and uh do you think you might get the guys back together and do a, a spandau reunion at some point uh don't think so no <laughs> it's no it's it's Sometimes you know you just have to say what's happened has happened, and and uh, and you know I I don't ever wish them ill, uh, and I wish them all the best in whatever they do. I'm happy doing what I'm doing, uh, and as I say, I'm still I'm still doing what I love, and I count myself to be a very very lucky man. Good, excellent, Tony. It's been a pleasure having a catch up with you. Thanks, thanks, dude. Cheers, mate. No worries. Good luck Cheers. to you.